Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of the Sunday Drive. The Sunday Drive is sponsored by Midtown Mattress and Home Furnishings in beautiful downtown Lindsay. They have the area's largest selection of mattresses, but they also have home furnishings and home decor, and they're pretty awesome people too. So next time you need something for your home, head into Midtown Mattress in downtown Lindsay. Okay, so today we are going to be speaking with Maddie Mahoney. Hello. And hi, <laughs> thank you for being here. Yeah, of course. Maddie grew up in Bob Cajun. She went to Bob Cajun Public School. She went to high school in Lindsay. And yes. now she spends her days traveling the world. Yes. And we're going to talk to her a little bit more about what she does, all the places that she's been, the amazing things that she's seen, and a whole lot more. Okay. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this edition of the Sunday Drive. Okay, so we're back with Maddie Mahoney, Bug Cajun girl, born and raised, and now traveling the world as a model. Yes. Maddie, I'm so <laughs> proud of you. That's so awesome. Thank you so I much. was actually looking for some clothes online one day, and Dynamite came up, yeah. and there was Maddie. I'm like, hey, that's Maddie. Yeah, it's so funny. I feel like I get so many people like reaching out to me saying they're seeing me online, and it's so rewarding seeing that. Yeah, so what made you want to do this? How so, did it come about? I guess growing up, People kind of like told me, you know, you kind of give me that vibe, like you should try it out. And I was kind of always like, mm, I don't know, like we'll see, being from a small town and stuff too. But um, I went to school in Oakville and I was posting on social media, like Instagram and stuff like that. And I actually got scouted on Instagram. So I hadn't like submitted online or anything like that. It kind of came my way, but I was like, oh, I'm definitely down to try it, see what happens. Like I didn't really know what was gonna come about. Um, so yeah, I went for a meeting um, with Elite Toronto and yeah, we got along really well and they gave me a contract. So that's kind of where it started. Okay, great. And when was that? 2019. 2019. So you've been doing this for a while. Yeah, wow. like five and a half years now. Okay, great. And yeah. you're still with Elite, right? Yes. Yeah, so they are my mother agency. So basically, basically how it works is your mother agency is kind of like your manager. So they oversee um, if you have any other agencies like representing you across the world. Um, so someone kind of has to like delegate and you know yeah, be in charge yeah of, be in like, charge of you everything. um and have like a contact point so that's essentially what it is so yeah they're my mother agency and then i have um eight other agencies around the world that represent me tell me a little bit more about all the places that you've been because you said you have eight other agencies around the world that rep represent you where have you been so i have been i honestly it's kind of hard to keep track but I've been a lot in Europe, so I was working in Spain a lot. I had a um, regular client that would fly me out there and I'd go live there for a couple months and work there. So Barcelona was a spot that I'd work a lot. Um, I've been to Paris like three times, um, London, England, I go there a lot. Um, I've been to Italy, um, Canary Islands, and then just in terms of like meeting friends, like across the world as mm -hmm. I travel and stuff like been to LA um, New York like a bunch of different places and when you're at all of these places working do you get time to kind of sightsee and go out and experience the culture and the people and that kind of thing yeah absolutely so I'm not working every day like usually most days you have castings it's called so like you will get an email and they'll kind of give you your schedule for the day you'll go out you will go to your castings which are like auditions um, they're like they're not super long and then in between like you can do whatever you want So I'll go to lunch or like if you make friends You can kind of hang out with them. Um, I always do all the sightseeing when I'm there because why not and yeah, yeah, and um, on the weekends you usually have weekends off like usually you don't ever work on the weekends unless you have like a test shoot which is kind of like a creative shoot that you get to like create with other people in the industry for free and you kind of collaborate for cool images so Okay. And what, is, what are some of the things that you've seen? Tell me some of the interesting things that you've done. Um, well, in Paris, I went to the Louvre, which is really cool. Um, of course, the Eiffel Tower. Um, but I think for me, like, the coolest thing is I'm doing all of these things mostly alone, which I think is such Good a for you. cool thing. Because I, you know, I'm going to these countries all by myself. And you go there, like, for example, when I went to London. I mean, as you go, you meet people. But the very first trip I ever did was London, England. And I didn't know a single person and you kind of just have to like throw yourself into it and like really just figure it out like the transit like I don't know their culture like the vibe and yeah you just kind of have to figure it out so I think it was a big learning experience just me going there and 
um, like having to like do all those things alone and you grow so much as a person. And you mentioned you went to London, England the, for the very first trip you went on by yourself. How yeah. old were you? You would have been young. 20, 21, 22. And was your mom worried about you? Because I know your yeah. mom and I don't know how she did that. I don't know if I could do that. Like as a mom. Yeah, she was. She was worried about me. And I was, like, stressed too. Like, I mean, I have anxiety. So I was kind of just like, what the heck am I doing? But also I was kind of like, I need to just go. And I need to, like, just do it because life is short. And, you know, see what happens. Um, and, like, going, I didn't really know if I was going to work, like, my first trip. I was kind of like, well, we'll see what happens because that was only, like, I was only signed in Toronto and then at that point London. So I was kind of like, well, like, see how like what my career has to give me you know so I will go and honestly thankfully it just kind of worked out and I did work and then it kind of just grew from there I went on a weekend trip to Paris and met a bunch of agencies I think I met like 12 agencies while I was there and ended up signing with one and then it kind of just like you kept I kept getting signed from there so and what are some of the brands you've worked with I know you've worked with Dynamite mm -hmm. um in terms of Canada, like Roots, I've done El Canada magazine, which is actually a published work. So um, I have like three copies at home of that. And I'm on like a seven page spread, which is pretty cool. Um, a lot of my brands are also European just because I work there a lot. So Bershka is a big one. So they're owned by Inditex, which is owned by Zara. Um, so I was working for them a lot, like I mentioned in the beginning. And they would like fly me from Canada, which is really cool. So mm -hmm. I'd go for the week and like they'd fly me back. And then I would like kind of just go back and forth. Um, which is a really great client to have. Um, but yeah, just and like... you mentioned Simons, right? Yeah, Simons as well. Um, they're a good client. I actually just worked from them yesterday in Montreal. Um, and that will be in store. So you can go check that out. And you said you saw yourself in store, right? Because you yeah. shop at some of these places. Which is a really cool experience because growing up, especially with Dynamite, like garage and dynamite they're owned by the same brand so i'd go and i would like look at the girls online and i'd be like that'd be so cool the one day and then like going to the store and seeing yourself it's kind of like such a weird moment and like the employees are like what are you doing creeping around looking at this poster and i'm like it's me <laughs> and, yeah. and what do your friends think they're really proud of me they think it's really cool um i don't know i feel like they just see me as like their friends so they're kind of just like whatever but no they, they're really proud of me they think it's super cool and yeah some of them come visit me so have you ever had any kind of shady or scary experiences I know you had a uh, like a reputable agency right off the bat and I think sometimes when people don't that's when bad mm -hmm. things can happen but have you ever had anything like that I mean I would say having a good agency is super important because they will always um, like look out for you and always making sure they're working with super reputable people and photographers they know so when you go somewhere usually agencies abroad will have like a model apartment for you um uh, not all of them but you do pay rent and everything like that but you go and you live in that um and it's a good way to meet people because if you're going there and you don't know anyone like there's usually like six or seven other models staying in it but you never really know what you're getting yourself into when you go to those places because some of the times the model apartments are not always the best conditions and you realize quickly that other people don't always live like you do like sometimes other girls can be really messy do they set rules for you like things that you can do and things that you can't do at the agency your mother agency? so there's not necessarily rules I mean I couldn't like change my hair like I couldn't go brunette if I wanted to like I have to stay um, like how my image is now so like my book like my portfolio is how I look right now so you can't just go change that because that's what clients are booking you right. for so in terms of that like that you couldn't like they don't really like when you get super tan just because again changes your look right. um, and then like no there's not necessarily rules I mean they just kind of want you to look how you present yourself in your book and like some clients will ask like no fake nails stuff like that um, just because you have to abide by like what they're shooting and you're obviously um, very successful. You bought your first house. Yes. Congratulations. Recently. Thank you so That's much. Great. And it's here in Bob Cajun, right? It is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I've always been interested in buying a house. Like I, I always wanted to invest that way. And renovating a house has always been interesting to me because I just think designing and stuff is really cool. It's like a hobby of mine outside of work. Um, so yeah, I've I've been looking for the past like I'd say two three years just on Realtor.ca like looking, but. I just wanted to do it when the time is right and stuff like that. So, yeah, I found this house. Um, 
I would say like a month or so ago and we went to see it and I put in an offer the next day and then it all worked out so congratulations thank you so what do you think past modeling what would you like to do um well like I just said I'm interested in interior designing so I think that's an option or real estate um my mom's a real estate agent so you never know but I kind of want to do this for as long as I can like yeah. I think it's super fun I really like my job and it kind of gives me like the freedom to do things on the side too because I don't work like a nine to five or like a normal like mm -hmm. schedule so yeah we'll see where it takes me I never want to like set anything in stone because you never know what right. life has in store